Okay, this is me attacking uh, Manuel1208. I get three stars on this during Clan Wars. Uh, two other um, teammates uh, tried to attack him before. Axeman got one star. Um, Lemon Ming got two stars. And so I finally got the third star. Because we were so far ahead, I decided I might as well just have a little fun here and see what I could do with these crummy troops. Because I never use minions. In a, I mean, th typically I'll use them for attacking uh, for money. Um, off of Clan Wars, but I didn't I didn't want to bother changing them since I had such a high amount of uh, um, uh, points for my team already because everyone was so awesome and the other team was pretty weak. So, here we go. Um, you'll see that he's got gold walls. Gold walls I'm not afraid of. You'll also see right here, first thing I do is I lead out or draw out the troops uh, clan castle troops so that I could surround them and ambush them with archers Look at that. Look how sweet that is uh, Just about 15 archers boom right around them surround them kills those expensive um, uh, War uh, wizard troops Then I could take care of this all in the same thing because I noticed they had this here So I'm gonna take my giants and start doing some dirty work to be honest I really only expected to get no more than two stars out of this battle but when I saw the weak air defense, I thought I might have a chance against this guy. So when I noticed that all they had was land defense here, I said, oh, this is perfect for my minions. So I just dropped all my minions right here. I do simultaneous attacks. This is undefended stuff, so if I'm going to have enough time to finish, I'm going to have to send a few archers here to clear that. Uh, I cleared that air defense to protect my healers later on. Okay, this is one. Uh, air defense that I need to get out before the healers get hurt and so hopefully that gets taken care of and you'll see it's getting taken care of boom now my healers are safe again um, I would start worrying about this here, right here but I noticed that there are only three archer towers to have to contend with so I'm gonna slam a whole bunch of archers right here and just walk down the line I don't attack all three archer towers at the same time since they're giving me this convenient little line I'm gonna start from one edge and then go all the way down plus I have to take care of that air defense to def to protect my uh, healers later on here so I started sending some minions on this side after I took care of both air defenses um, then it's easy to attack everything after that the minions become uh, considerably more useful once the air defense is down and here we go. I'm going to take care of that air defense just to protect my healers. That's really what I'm worried about. So I threw some air uh, archers here, and the other archers are just coming down and mowing down this, this line right here that they conveniently placed for me. Um, I like to see which uh, artillery is being preoccupied because I know that if the cannon's being preoccupied, I could throw a whole bunch of weaker, but with the, with the giants, I could throw a whole bunch of weaker uh, troops behind it so it's kind of like um you know i get i multiply the amount of damage uh being being delivered upon those um defenses if i surround them just much like i surrounded the wizards earlier on in the game so thank you for watching